Now, here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Good morning, everybody. As I look at some of the data for this upcoming storm, if you live along or south and east of I-95, it looks like wet snow combining with wind may be more of an issue than actual accumulation. However, northern Rhode Island, western Rhode Island could see some pretty significant accumulations. We'll talk more about that in just a second. Here is where the storm is right now. Classic nor'easter creeping up the coast of the mid-Atlantic. We have rain on the mild side of the storm and of course the snow on the colder side. It will take a while for us to tap into this colder air so for the next several hours we're dry and then it starts as rain and then some snow once we move into tonight. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 not picking up on any precipitation right now so we move on to your timeline. Between 11 o'clock in the morning and 2 o'clock in the afternoon the showers will start from the south to the north and then between about 2 o'clock and 8 o'clock today rain will come down. Some of that heavy and I don't want to completely downplay the rain with this event I mean, we could see some street flooding with some of those leaves still on the streets. Tonight, between about 8 o'clock and 10 p.m., some of that rain will start to mix to snow, especially north and west of I-95. Then as we go between 10 o'clock tonight and 3 o'clock tomorrow morning, that's the most likely time frame to see some of the snow coming down heavier. And we're talking about the possibility of near whiteout conditions, especially north and west of 295. Now, the wind will also be howling, so a lot of that snow and wet snow and rain will be coming down sideways. Between 3 o'clock in the morning and 6 o'clock in the morning, the snow moves out, but the wind will continue to crank through at least a 7, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. So a winter storm warning for northern and western sections of Providence County. So we're talking Foster, um, Burville, out through Woonsocket. The rest of us, a high wind warning in effect. Now, this does not mean to say that this section right here won't be windy. It will, in fact, a very, very windy night for all of southern New England. Let's talk about those winds a little bit more. Winds between 20 and 30 miles an hour sustained and then between 45 and 55 with the gusts. That starts at 8 o'clock tonight so it takes a while for these winds to get going and when you combine these strong winds with the leaves still on the trees that's when we have to be careful of power outages. You could see quite a few of those tonight as uh, the wet snow collects on the leaves and some of those branches and trees could come down rather easily. Temperatures right now, 35 in Taunton, 37 New Bedford, we're 36 Smithfield, and 38 in Westerly. Temperatures not changing very much as we go throughout the day. Here is another look at our uh, approaching storm. This is not the center, this is a leading edge. Some cold rain already being reported in New York City earlier. You can see the strip to the uh, south of Block Island. Eventually this moves on through, but I think the next several hours should remain dry. A wider view shows the uh, center of the storm, basically the energy still well to the uh, south and east. Eventually, though, it parks itself just off to our east, say midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning. That's when the winds will peak and the snowfall will peak as well. And this is also the time when finally we uh, turn off the winds from the northeast, which can bring in the milder ocean air. We finally get those out of here and bring in more of a north or northwesterly wind, and that's when some of that snow will really start to come down. So for this morning, temperatures in the 40s, mostly cloudy. This afternoon, instead of rising, the temperatures actually start to drop with the rain coming down. How about uh, mid to upper 30s? That's it for temperatures into the afternoon. Tonight that rain changes over to snow, especially north and west of the capital city. You combine that with the wind. Of course, we have to watch out for the potential of those power outages. Temperatures 29 in uh, northern Rhode Island. Call it 35 degrees along the south shore. And again, winds between 20 and 30 could see some gusts up to around 45 or 50 miles an hour. Here are the grand totals. 48 inches. We're talking about areas such as uh, uh, northern and western Providence County. How about western Kent County could also get into this larger swath of snow. Two to four inches from Providence down into sections of uh, Warwick, perhaps up through Pawtucket. And then look at how quickly these accumulations drop. One to two inches for places like Barrington, Bristol, South Kingstown. And make sure you stay tuned to future forecasts. This is very track dependent. And this line here and this line here may shift back and forth a little bit. But at this point, we're not expecting a lot of accumulation for New Bedford out towards the Cape. So that seven day future cast brings in a much better Sunday afternoon. 45 still cold and how about Halloween? 51 degrees. Now during the trick-or-treating hours temperatures quickly falling through the 40s into the upper 30s so make sure you bundle those little ones up for Halloween night. So uh, more details coming up uh, this morning and of course tune into TJ tonight because we may have to make a few adjustments to those yeah, accumulations. Yeah, absolutely. And time to book that uh, flight ticket to Florida. Do that right now. Degrees. Maybe I'll work on that after the show. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Pete. Yep. Covering New England now, the front